our Lord. Amen. One Christian response to the images they didn't like, including the sexual imagery, was to destroy images, to close temples, um, to uh, make these no-go areas. They did knock off the phalluses, there was no doubt about that. Um, I suppose, I suppose that was their strongest line, but more deeply, they uh, destroyed the cults that supported or fostered those images, so that in the end, uh, there was no constituency left for uh, ancient Egyptian religion of, of all sorts. Christians now led the persecution, a means of conversion, the killing of pagan priests and leaders to intimidate non-believers. With no priests to perform it, the daily rite at Karnak died out. The forces of chaos, which the Egyptians had so long struggled to control, finally engulfed the temples. For the 15 centuries that followed, their story lay buried in sand. Christians and Muslims alike lived in the old temples, but remained indifferent to the world that had been lost. expedition to Egypt in 1797 did the process of uncovering the past really begin. Shortly after the Battle of the Pyramids, Napoleon addressed the team of 300 scholars he had brought, together with his troops. Their task, he told them, was to make Egypt known, not only to France, but to all Europe. The wisdom